Good day, sisters in Christ. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. This is my first time of making a video and it is not easy, but I'm sure that it will get better with time. Um, I believe that the Word of God says in Revelations that we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb, by the Word of our testimony. And... You know it's easy when we pray to say i overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb because the blood of jesus is there for everyone who will accept the blood of jesus christ that perfect blood of jesus but if we did not give our testimony or if we're not giving our testimony so how will we overcome the devil but if we don't give our testimony if we don't testify of the goodness that god has done in our lives and that is one of the reasons why i am doing this video it is not easy. I'm not good at talking, as you can hear that I'm stuttering a bit, but I'm sure that God will give me the grace and um, to go through it. Um, I'm not going to give a very detailed um, testimony now. Also, out of respect for my husband, I will just give you a um, just a. Um, also english is not my first language so um be, please bear with me i will just give you like a um a, a big picture um i've been saved for quite a number of years but you know when i say saved i mean that i accepted the lord jesus christ but i was not really i thought actually that i was on the right track you know uh, i'm not doing anything that you know that you can say this is a sin i'm not doing it not drinking smoking and all those things even my thought life i make sure that i don't think on evil things you know i try to love the best that i can for god but at the end i realized that i was not doing the right thing that i was actually deceiving myself you know god has delivered me from a lot of things um um you know i've been having a struggle since childhood you know i guess maybe you know the devil saw that this child is going to be someone great for god and you know he targeted me as from a young age you know i almost drowned as a child at school someone pushed me in the water we were staying like our school was next to a river so there was a canal that was flowing there and another child pushed me there in and until this day i don't know how did i come out there but i did come out and there was another time where i fell with a bottle glass bottle and it cut my hand um almost could have cut me ear in my neck but uh, god protected me and a lot of other times that i cannot even mention you know times without number you know we were in an accident also with my husband and god protected us we didn't have a scratch not one of us and um i just thank god you know god delivered me i it, you know, I had gone through a lot as a child and as a young person, you know, getting involved in drinking, you know, at the, the later years of my schooling, smoking and all those things. And then also getting mixed up with wrong people and getting into lesbianism, you know, I don't even want to mention these things. It is so... I don't even want to mention those things, but for the glory of God Almighty, for he has delivered me from those things. I thank God Almighty that He has delivered me from all the immoral lifestyle that I lived before. But I'm doing this to give God the glory. And you know, as we grew up, you know, there was this thing that people were always scared of um, talking about God. You know, but when it comes to doing wrong things, people were not shy to do wrong things. In fact, they would even go out and show people that they're smoking or they're drinking. But when it came to going to church or just to do a prayer in public they won't do it they can't mention the name of jesus and i was brought up you know not that um my my um grandmother brought me up as, um my mother was there as well but not that they didn't try their best but one had always the thing of you were shy to to do things of god but when it comes to the wrong things it was just like a norm and it's like that in the larger society here in, in south africa especially amongst the colored people um so you know that thing is very wrong 
And also what I want to say, um, dear sisters in Christ, is this, um, I'm still going to make videos after this, it's this, that God has called us all to be preaching his word to, to even if we don't have to go out in the street, you know, and preach on the street corner, though I would like to do that, but if God has given me now this opportunity to do this on YouTube, I will do this because um, I believe that we are at the end, nearing the end of time, and um, we don't know how much time we have left on this earth. So, you know, another pastor said, if you want to do something for God, do it now. And, um, you know, besides my prayer for people, besides prayer for the family every day and fasting and, you know, trying to live a, a right life and holiness and righteousness and breaking all the curses um, on my life, you know, all the covenants of the forefathers. But, um, you know, I have to actually um, talk about God, you know, to, to my family and to all those people that um, I get a chance to talk to. Because I've never done that, you know, I have known God for a long time. Um, I've worked with people, you know, but I lived my life as a Christian, but I didn't, you know, go out and, and I was not bold enough, you know. And I think that is what the enemy used to keep me, you know, just on that level, not growing in God. And also, um, uh, I, I backslided, you know, but I thank God that through His grace, He brought me back. And um, th this year, actually, God has opened my eyes so much. I just realized that how much, how much I thought I was right with God, but I was so wrong. I thought that I was praying every day, I was doing everything right, I was not committing any sin, but there is things deep inside of us that we ourselves sometimes were not aware about. There's things that are hidden and we should ask God as we pray, God show me, reveal to me what is it in me that is that I need to deal with. And sometimes even through dreams, um, God will, not that God will show you, but you know what happens in your dream, when you dream, when you get attacked in your dream, you will see that things are not okay and so we have to really look in ourselves to see what is it that we need to deal with and not try to suppress things rather deal with them and try to break all those strongholds of our lives and um, um, we don't have much time left um, and then as I can see I've watched some of the videos on YouTube you know people preaching on the street and I can see how there's an, so much opposition to God um, out there it is just so you know you can even cry when you see people that are just coming against the word of God you know but you know one was also once part of those people so we should not um, give up on people we should continue to preach to people if they don't want to hear that is up to them but we should do what God has called us to do to preach the word of God and um, in so doing, we said our we we also it's also a form of deliverance, I believe, especially for me to be doing this. This is also a, a part of my deliverance. Um, you know, besides praying and doing some self deliverance and fasting, this is also a big part of my deliverance, I believe. Because even as I'm sitting here now, I can feel that you know, um, it is not easy. But I thank God, and I will be doing some more videos. Um, trying to encourage people um, I thank you for listening may God bless you have a great day in the name of Jesus Christ I cover this video in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in Jesus name I pray amen